Sub you two simply oh lucky here and today we have a very epic video it is a search for the dog magician girl and then i want to ask you guys to check out the channel and subscribe for more beautiful Yu-Gi-Oh videos and before we get into the video guys i wanted to announce that we will be doing a giveaway all that you need to do is give this video a thumbs up and post in the comments below the dark magician girl and you have a chance to get your very own dark magician girl that we pull from this opening so be ready, you guys. All right, so getting into this, we are doing a box opening in a way of Magician's Destiny. And so this will be pretty exciting. So starting off with some Magician's Force booster packs. I believe if we did special, if they did special editions of this, we have about three special editions here. So uh, are you guys ready? Search for the Dark Magician Girl. Here we go. Dun, 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 dun. Da -da 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 first pack and these are classic packs you guys let's start with a whip ah Yu-Gi-Oh here we go we have a pixie knight burning beast autonomous action unit uh kiryu combination attack ice and fire wow very nice beautiful classic cards man then we have eight suit Dark Cat with a White Tail, Exhausting Spell, and the Giant Orc. Beautiful. Magician's Force, you guys. Alright. Next pack. It's been a cool minute since we opened this set. Can we pull a foil out of these eight packs? Can we pull a Dark Magician Girl? Sonic Duck, Frontline Base, Physical Double, DK Commander, Anti, that Skull Servant, that dude on a plane, Paper Plane, the Dark Cat with the White Tail, Exhausting Spell, and a Giant Orc. The last same cards are this. Last four cards are the same. Okay, you guys. Next pack. Can we pull a foil card? Believe in the heart of the cards, you guys, for it will guide you. Another Sonic Duck in the front. Frontline base, physical double, DK commander, and this time it's a dark core though. Still very cool. Roulette barrel, pineapple blast, united resistance. The people that gather to swear to fight their oppressors. A revolution is coming. My body is a sheep. Very nice. Be a floor on the SU tower fighting against the oppressors. Who would the oppressors be though? Next pack. Thunder of Ruler. Looks like he's about to chop off the goblin's head. Demotion. <laughs> Magical Marionette. Emblem of the Dragon Destroyer. And Rare DD Crazy Beast. Very cool. Another goblin getting obliterated. <laughs> the Great Angus. The demon beast. A very violent beast that is always berserk. People say that it will never see stay silent. Meteor Rain. Zombie Tiger. And the Vampire Orcus. Beautiful. Classic cards, you guys. Especially that magical marionette, speaking of the destiny of spellcasters. Spellcasters destiny. All right, so guys, halfway through the packs. Here we go. Can we get an epic foil card? That looks like a good whip. Classic nostalgia. Here we go. Oh, I love it. From 2004, classic Konami symbol, or the second Konami symbol. Formation Union. Freezing Beast. People running about. They always suffer in silence. They will inevitably revoke it. Amazonist Archers, a super rare card. Nice. Beautiful card there. I guess a little more, or a little less censored than most English cards. 
TCG Pro. Very cool. Old Vindictive Magician. Mass Driver. Poison of the Old Man. And the Dude on a Paper Plane. Four more packs, you guys. We at least got one for it. Out of loose, classic packs. That's pretty good. Can we get an Ultra? Or just maybe... The Dark Magician Girl. Rare Gold Armor. Magical Marionette. Wave Motion Cannon. There's a good one. Necroman King. Dark Blade Rare. That guy's pretty sweet. They say he's a dragon manipulating warrior from the Dark World. So this is a warrior from the Dark World. His attack is tremendous. Using his great swords with vicious power. And I believe the whole censorship for the TCG is the Dark World is hell. Is that, is that kind of how it works? Well, no, the Burning Abyss cards are from hell. That's, that's an issue. I don't know. But still, the Dark Union Rider. Metal Silver Armor for our Dark Blade. And the Roulette Barrel. But what does the Dark Blade look like without his armor? Answer in the comments below. And as we're getting through these packs, let's see if we can get the Dark Magician Girl. Magic, Magical Plant Mandragola, Hidden Book of Spell, Royal Magical Library, Rare Gold Armor, Cat's Ear Tribe, nice. Amazonist Spellcaster, Magical Scientist, there we go, Powerful Band Card, Rivalry of Warlords, Powerful Side Deck Card, and the Great Angus. A lot of classic cards there from Magician's Force. Magical Scientist was crazy. Crazy card. Right. Just two packs left, you guys. Dun 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 dun. Dun 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 dun. Here we go. Kiryu. Second Goblin. He's always getting obliterated or getting his head cut off or something. Formation Union. Freezing Beast. Dramatic Rescue. Save those Amazons. Uh, Anti-Spell, Pitch Dark Dragon, Amazon Spellcasters, and another Magical Scientist. And the final pack of Destiny, you guys. Can we get a foil? Can we get the Dark Magician Girl? Give it to us. Kaiba! Here we go. Dun-dun-dun-dun. Dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun. Hidden Book of Spell. Royal Magical Library. Rare Gold Armor. Magical Merchant. And oh baby, an ultra rare XY Dragon Cannon. There we go. Beautiful. Actually getting an ultra rare from loose packs. Very nice. And this guy has X Head Cannon and Y Dragon Head. This monster can only be special summoned by removing from play the above monsters on your side of the field. You do not use polymerization. Um, to summon this card for Fusion Deck, discard one card from your hand to destroy one face up. Spell or trap on your opponent's side of the field. It was very good back in the day. The whole XYZ Dragon Cannon deck with uh, limiter removal. Three limiter removals, by the way. Absolutely insane deck at the time. Yeah. I remember those days. Back in my day. We're really wanting to do uh, a classic, like, dual stories type series. So, uh, for classic Yu-Gi-Oh! viewers. But, um, before we get into the remainder of this video, I wanted to say we are doing a giveaway for a Dark Magician Girl. All that you guys need to do is give this video a thumbs up and comment below. The Dark Magician Girl. Anywhere in your comment. And we'll be able to put you guys into the giveaway. Alright. Rise of the spellcasters the magician's destiny let's get some special editions going you guys see if we can actually pull the search for the dark magician girl rise of destiny all right first pack here we go rise of destiny special edition straight from the box includes one random card Epic Ultra Rare Pool, though, from the Magician's Force Loose Packs. Okay, can I open this without showing the card on camera? Here we go. 
Come on, baby. Where is my boo? The beautiful. The elegant. The cute. The Dark Magician Girl! <laughs> Still elegant, not so cute. The Vampire Lord. Kind of emo Asian look going on there. Still very cool card. The Vampire Lord. And these are first edition. Rise of Destiny has first edition packs from their special edition. They printed way too many of these first edition. That's pretty crazy. First edition Rise of Destiny from a special edition? Just doesn't seem right. But it is. But it's nice. Let's see what Rise and Destiny First Edition has in store for us. Sorry. Magician's Destiny. Rise of the Magicians. Okay. Mighty Guard. Mirage Dragon. Rock. Harpy Girl. First Edition. Now that is cute. Necklace of Command. Harpy Lady 1. Astral Barrier. Heavy Mech Support Platform. And the Bukoichi, the Frightening card. Alright. Next pack from this special edition. Let's see what we can get. Can we get a foil? You know what would be nice? An ultimate rare. I feel like Konami's not printing ultimate rares anymore. We haven't been pulling ultimate rares. We really could use an ultimate rare. Tactical Espionage Expert. Element Magician. Heavy Mech Supports. Astral Barrier. And Picaroo's Circle of Enchantment. Another cute card. Moki Moki Smackdown. The Creator Incarnate. Now the Creator Ultimate Rare for Statistician would be pretty sweet. Uh, Woodborg and Pachi. Creeping Doom Mata. Because he is the one that decided to create the Dark Magician Group. Last pack. Here we go. Lighten the Load. Harpy Lady 2. Creeping Doom Mata. Tactile, tactical Espionage Expert, covering five. Harpy Lady 3, Moki Moki, Smackdown Elemental Source, along with the creators. Alright, you guys. Search for the doll. Magician. Let's see what we have inside. <laughs> Come on. First edition Rise of Destiny packs, you guys. What could be inside? The Dark Magician! <laughs> the Judgment of Anubis. Okay. Well. We're almost there. I feel like we're close. Here we go. Ult ult ultimate. Ultimate rare from Rise of Destiny. That would be nice. What ultimate rares? I mean, the creator would obviously be nice, but there's still so many we haven't really pulled on camera before. Raging Flame Sprite. I know we got the perfect ultimate machine king. Brock. Uh, a full solar dragon, the dual mode beast. Nice. Very cool. A Harpy Lady 1. Okoichi. Heavy Mech. Astral Barrier. Next, first edition, Rise of Destiny Booster Pack. Search! For the Dark Magician. Mirage Dragon. Harpy's hunting around. Lighten the load. And oh, baby, a Divine Wrath! First edition, Ultimate Rare, straight from the pack. That was by far one of the more valuable cards from Rise of Destiny for the longest time. I mean, there's so many broken cards nowadays that it's, it's not really used as much but still look at that foil attribute divine wrath first edition ultimate rare straight out of the pack that is beautiful that's what we needed right there it's divine i like how it's like cannon soldier on that i feel like it should have been like a god card it should be they should totally have had god cards in pictures more often oh, like why not Zinzang Rock, Moki Moki. And it even has Divine in the name. I'm like, of course. There's only a few Divine cards. It's Divine Wrath, though. Very cool. Alright, Harpy's Hunting Ground. Can't really get better than that unless you get two foils. Flint. 
Furin Kazan, Malice and Dispersion, and Invasion Flames. Here we go. Only one more Rise of Destiny Special Edition pack. This is it. Can we get the Dark Magician Pro? We got question mark, question mark, question mark. Search for the Dark Magician Pro. This one, look at that. That's that's great. Okay. What can we get? How about this time we open up our packs first? And I feel like that way we'll actually get the better position. You guys feel it? I feel it. Okay. Raw so destiny. First edition, here we go. Homunculus, the alchemic being. Take straight from FMA, full metal alchemist. Spell purification, metal mighty guard. Nightmare penguin, covering fire once again. Pitch black war wolf, ballista, foxfire, invasion of flames. Ballista of Rampart Smashing. Pitch Black Warwolf. Fruits of Kazaki Studies. Mirage Dragon. And the Super Rare Divine Wrath. This pack opening is just divine. That's so cool. The Ultimate and the Super Rare First Edition versions. I'm telling you, the gods are watching the this. Fox 5. Invasion Flames. Back to square one. Tabletop channel is technically what we are. Run a bit of a tabletop game. Last pack can it be a double foil? Special edition. Lighten the load. Nightmare Penguin. Homunculus. Spell Purification. Ultimate Insect Level 3. At least we got an ultimate card. We got an ultimate rare card. No? Ballista. Moki Moki Smackdown. Greater Incarnate. And Woodfall. And last but not least, we believed in the heart of the cards. And it has guided us for the Dark Magician Schneisey Batman. All right. Crap. Unumas. Here we go. One more special edition opening. Dark Magician Girl. Here we go. Straight. We're just obliterating the back here. Obliterating the front. Straight obliteration. Here we go. Come on, Destiny. Rise up! And bring forth the Dark Magician Girl. Three more packs to lead us to our destiny. The Magician's Destiny. You know what? I know what's going on. We need to take a whiff of these first edition packs. Rise of Destiny. Here we go. Zing Zen Hu. Mirage Dragon. Rock. Lighten the load. Flint. It's alright. Mech. Astral Barrier. It's our first time we saw the Astral. Astral? What, what's his name? The guy? The Millennium Key Ghost. Totally blanking out. Zaxel? No? Nice pack right there. Beautiful. Alright. Tactical Espionage. Elements. Harpy's Honey Ground. Mine Haxers. And then an Ultimate Rare! Covering Fire. That's the thing about Special Editions. You get Super Ultimates. And you also get Rare Ultimates. But man, look at that. Look at Cannon Soldier making its debut here on these Ultimate Rare cards. Getting obliterated by Divine Wrath, the d divinity of the gods, and then supporting these mechanical creatures with covering fire. That is actually a very pretty ultimate rare card, by the way. Just an FYI. Very nice. Two ultimate rares. I'm already, we're good. This is a fantastic opening. Two ultimate rares out of an entire box of um, 
the GX set or Ultimate Rare set from 2004 to 2007 or 8 is always expected. So, two out of just four special, which is very nice. Fubin Kazan, card you can use in six samurais. All right, you guys. Last pack of Destiny. Rise up, magicians. Harpy Lady. Creeping Doom, back to square one. Mirage Dragon and Covering Fire to go with our ultimate. Just like the Divine Wrath Super Rare to go with our ultimate Divine Wrath, we have the rare Covering Fire. That's cool. I feel like we're getting... Somebody's playing some tricks on us with these ultimate rares and then the regular version afterwards. I feel like it is the beautiful, the cute, the elegant, the amazing, the Dark Magician Girl. Oh, baby. There she is. Beautiful. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. My bag. The boo of Yu-Gi-Oh. The girl that is even envied by other girls. The Dark Magician Girl. Wow. And once again, you guys, if you want to get your own Dark Magician Girl, all that you need to do is to give this video a thumbs up and post in the comments below. The Dark Magician Girl. The search is over. That was epic. What a beautiful card. Good job, Konami. Nice marketing. Alright, you guys. So that was a pretty epic opening. Two ultimate rares. We pulled the Dark Magician Girl. We pulled an ultra rare from Magician's Force. Or should I say, Magician's Destiny. Or Rise of the Magicians. Pretty epic opening, you guys. Got the Dark Magician Girl, though. Search for the Dark Magician Girl is over for now. And so, uh, as always, though, thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up. If you enjoyed the content, subscribe for more epic Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. And so, unlucky signing out.